Hey guys, welcome back to yet another Tugaluna dog training video. We've pretty much got done with walking force fetch. Bo picked it up. Um, so now, basically force fetch is done um, with, with Bo. Walking force fetch is really the um, last part of force fetch training. But force fetch leads into force to pile, which is what we're going to start today. Uh, I'm a subscriber to the to the retrievertrainer.com created by Freddie King. A lot of these methods that I'm using are from the retrievertrainer.com. Guys, if you're trying to train your dog at home by yourself, um, like me, um, guys, go and pay, go and pay the five dollars a month to get that. To get subscribed onto that um, that that web that website, guys, it, it it's helped me a lot learning the reasons for doing a lot of the things that we do, getting little tips and tricks. Um, I think I've talked about it in previous videos, but this is one of them, guys. Um, Freddie King likes to use what it's called the ladder method when it comes to forcing the pile, and after watching the videos on the retrievertrainer.com, it makes perfect sense why he feels that's the best way to do it and then why I'm gonna do it because I feel like it's the smartest and the smartest way to do it. As you can see here guys, we've got a line of bumpers again, just like walking force fetch. The only difference in this video and this drill forcing to pile is number one, there's a pile of bumpers down at the end of the line you got here. I think it's like right here on the camera. I don't know, but there's a line going out. Just like walking force fetch, there's a pile on it. Only difference is I'm not going to be walking with them. I'm going to be standing over here. Probably going to be ended up off camera. And I'm going to be forcing him via collar pressure and word command to go and fetch it up. That simple, guys. It, it really is. Um... It really is that simple, guys. Um, like I've said, Freddie King, he's done a great job explaining things on the RetrieverTrainer.com website. It's key to remember, forcing the pile is step one of teaching a, your dog how to do blind retrieves, all right? The dog doesn't understand that when you say back, there's going to be something there for him to go get that he didn't see. Then you can't do a blind retrieve. That's all a blind retrieve is. is telling a dog to go get something that he doesn't know is there. All right. This is a step. This is start. This is step one of that. Um, this is also going to go a long way as far as handling him. Even a bird that he does see, you know, for example, let's say shoots you a mallard. It's not dead all the way. Um, Dog goes after it, good marking skills, a, a good dog with marking skills, goes after the bird, bird sees this big dog coming after it, it dives in the, in the, in the marsh, right? Now the dog don't know where it's at, you see the bird come up 20 yards to the, to the dog's left, you've got to be able to handle that dog, hey, it's over there now, or hey, it's over there now. This is step one of that process, guys, so we're going to get started here. Um, hopefully I can get everything on camera. But let's get started. Bo. No, please. Place. Place. No. Here. Place. Alright guys. Uh, so here we are. I'm right here at the line, no here. Heel. Shit. So guys, keys to remember, always get your dog lined up with the line. Um, don't be alarmed if, you're, if your dog skips the first bumper and goes and gets the second one, don't be alarmed, all right? 
it, the dog's figuring it out too. All right. Uh, but you're just going to keep sending them using your word, your, using your fetch command, whatever it is, get it, whatever. Um, mine's been fetched up, so that's what we're going to use, all right? Looks a little something like this. Here, heel. Yeah. Fetch it up. Good. Here, heel. Yeah. Good. Leave. Heel. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, good. Catch it up. Good. Here. Heel. Good. Yeah. Good. Lead. No. Catch it up. Lead. Good boy. Catch it up. Catch it up. Good. Here. No. Catch it up. Here. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Good. Here. Here. Heel. Sit. Good. Good boy. Lead. Heel. Sit. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Good. Here. Heel. I don't know if y'all picked it up on camera. No. Sit. I don't know if y'all picked it up on camera, guys, but he grabbed it like a cigar at the end. So when he gets back here, just take it out and shove it in his mouth the correct way in the middle. Tell him to hold. Always correct a, a, a mistake, okay? Don't want to let things slide, all right? So I don't know how much y'all picked it up. I'll probably have to zoom it in when I'm doing the editing and stuff. But guys, that's basically all it is, all right? You're just gonna use a ladder method. Create a line, send your dog, have him come here, take it out, send him again, send him again, send him again. This is day one, all right? So you wanna start really close, okay? Start really close to your dog with the first one. And each time, you wanna lengthen it out. And each time, you want to make the pile at the end bigger and bigger and bigger. All right? The reason for that is you want to teach him not to shop. All right? Basically. So when he gets to the pile, you don't want him shopping for a bumper. You want him to just grab one, come back. All right? That's why you want to start small, get bigger. Okay? So we're going to keep it going. Here. Place. Leave. Sit. All right, guys. So, like I said, now we're gonna start a little bit farther. Getting the, getting the pile. No place. Getting the pile a little bit bigger at the end as you're getting the line longer. Heel. 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 Yeah. 
Good bird. Touch it up. Good. Here. Heel. Yes. Lead. Heel. Good bird. Touch it up. Good. Here. No. Here. Here. No. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Here. Heel. Fit. Lead. Dead bird. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Good. Here. Heel. Good. Good. Yeah, bird. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Good. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Here. Here. Heel. Yeah. No. Heel. Yeah. Good. Dead bird. Fetch it up. Back. Back. Good. Fetch it up. Here. Heel. Hold. Hold. Alright guys, so as you can see, getting further and further away. Alright. One one tip that I've kind of learned already is if you're having to use orange bumpers like me, because I just bought a six pack, um, which came with two whites, two black and whites, and two oranges. If you're having to use orange, use the orange as your line. Alright, because when you're sending them wave back to the pile, they're ha he's having trouble seeing the orange. All dogs do. That's part of using orange for blind retrieves later on. All right. But, guys, we're just going to keep it up. Always stretching the line out. Always making the pile bigger. All right. Heel. Heel. guys so he's not seeing the line bumpers because they're orange all right so we're just going to simplify all right always simplify if your dog's having trouble so we're just going to scoot up a little bit closer so he can see Yeah. Oh. 
Here. There it is. Fetch it up. Good. Here. Heel. No. Heel. Hold. Catch it up. Here. Place. Sit. Good. Good boy. Up, up. Oh. Here. Heel. Oh. Heel. Fetch it up. Good. Here. Heel. Sit. Good. Lead. No. Fetch it up. Lead. Good. Sit. Bar. No. guys so that's going to conclude this video um this was like i said this was day one of force the pile um guys i think i said something a little backwards and I, th I think i just caught myself when i was doing that last one you want to use bumpers so you can see on the line if that makes sense all right um because what will happen is what just happened with me is he took the line but he couldn't see the bumper so he just went straight to the pile and un somehow he grabbed two bumpers in one mouth and brought them both back, which I guess it's okay. I don't, I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be, I guess. But so guys, this was step one, uh, forcing the pile guys, um, uh, Bo is progressing great. All right. He, he's, he's blowing my mind every day. Um, he knows he knows what he's supposed to do. He knows when it's time to turn on and when it's time to turn off the his fun his fun meter there. Um, but guys, so that's but guys that's going to be it, guys. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. And guys, if y'all have any questions or comments that I can answer for y'all, make sure y'all leave a comment down in the comment section below. But guys, once again, thanks for watching Tootling Outdoors. We'll catch you next time.